Ah, running through the Arctic biome at night. My idea of a good time. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to knock out um, Terrain Scan Glacier. So I should be... Uh, I, I'm all prepared. I've been working for... Oh, I don't know. I prob it probably took me five to six hours uh, in real life to, to get to where I am. Um, I was thinking about maybe attempting to do this mission with the bolt rifle, but it takes such a long time to reload. And if we have a polar bear charging us, I figured we better get the, you know, the quicker repeating rifle. So that means I had to grind the fabricator out and the titanium, you know, to make the hunting rifle, which we did. Uh, so we are in pretty good shape here. Uh, we have, um, almost a hundred rounds of rifle ammo and shotgun ammo. Um, we got uh, the good food here. I didn't make um, uh, I didn't make the carrot stuff or the other food just because um, didn't want to also make a glass bench and make glass and all that business. So uh, we're gonna use fish curry, flat bread, and wild berries. And I have uh, cooked fish here for healing food. We got a stack of, of heat bandages, a stack of suture kits, a stack of basic bandages. All of our stuff is repaired. We are not, uh, we're taking the canteen with us on the toolbar, not equipped in our slot because you don't want to do that when you're in the snow biome. Uh, we got a stack of wood. We got a campfire. We've got the stone buildings for shelter, a repair hammer if we need it. And yeah, I think we're ready to get the heck out of here. Um, I have eight, yeah, eight carbon arrows and we made the recurve. So uh, we got fur armor on. And yeah, I think I'm as prepared as I can be. So let's take a drink out of this uh, to top off our water. And then we will top off our food. And let's do this. Oh, as you can see, I decided not to make a stone building this time. I just repaired the place, you know, when we got the storm. So it was a pain in the butt, but... I just didn't want to, you know, I wanted to make this as quick as possible. So that's what, <clears throat> that's what we did. Killed an untold number of, of bears, um, because the, you know, bears like to spawn in this little corridor. I'm, I'm going to call it bear alley from now on. And, uh, yeah, I went, I did go into the polar biome once and managed to kill a polar bear with the bolt rifle and shotgun combo, but not before he closed on me and hurt me a little bit, so it's just not, uh, it's just safer with this gun. Alright. Uh, we're not even going to harvest him. There's no reason to, because once we finish this mission, we're out of here. We are out of here. So, yeah, this is going to work. I'm assuming it's going to work exactly like the live wire terrain scan did. We have to, we have to pick up the scanner thingamadoodle, which is in the Arctic biome. Go to three spots, scan, get rushed by animals, and then we're done. So, yeah, I see a beefalo. I've got 26 blueprint points. I am currently level 62 now. Um, most of those blueprint points I'll probably end up putting into some of the nicer building stuff when the time comes for us to, to do another nice base build. Because you can actually really do some pretty amazing base builds if you have all of the pieces so it is my intention at some point to do another one of those and yeah so let's see if we can get this sucker knocked out hopefully there isn't a storm right when we enter the polar biome actually you know what we could do yeah we, we could kill a couple polar bears and cook up some prime meat and use that in place of the, probably the berries I would say all right we got a snowstorm that's working on getting over so we should be okay and if not, you know, we've got the shelter to fix ourselves up as needed. But at least it's on its way out and not on its way in. All right, there's our first polar bear. Need to get a good head shot off on him. Yeah, because these guys can drop up to four prime meat sometimes. And if they do, we'll just stop and cook it. All right, I need you to turn this way, Mr. Polar Bear. Make sure I'm not backing up into another one here. Now, 
No, I can't see. Oh, there he is. Okay. Got him. So yeah, if he drops prime, we'll drop the camp. Actually, you know what? Why don't we just drop the campfire anyways? Just warm up a tad here. Alright, let's see what he's got. Level 75 polar. It's a big boy. Uh, nope, he doesn't have anything. Okay, we're just going to leave the carcass there then because there's nothing else we need to do with it. Uh, let's look at the map here. Uh, we're right next to the... Hey, how come you're not updating? What the hell? Something's not working right. All right, well, anyway, we're right next to the, the thingamadoodle. Uh, so let's just stand here. Uh, oh, I guess the snow put our fire out. What the heck, man? All right, well, we're good. It's time to... Uh, this The worst part of the storm is done anyways. Okay, let's go over to the container then. Um... Where is that at? Let's look at the map again. We should be like right on top of it. What? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It's behind the rock. Okay, we'll grab this and put it in our G slot. And let's head on out. Another bear up that way. I heard them, but I don't see them. So, here, let's look where we need to go. Yeah, they're going to take us all the way around to the south end. Doggone it. Then we got to run all the way back this way to get back to the thing. Well, here, let's put a marker on there and get her done. Let's get her done, man. This will be my last polar uh, prospect for a while because I think we're going to switch to some desert action. So, we're, so we're going to do the mission where we have to open up the the canyons um next that's my plan and then we'll we'll spend some time in the in the desert biome just uh you know to change things up a little bit i have played in the desert biome on multiplayer and it's different a uh, resource some some resources anyways are a lot more scarce uh sticks for example are really actually scarce there um, but you get tree sap from cutting down palm trees, which kind of makes up for the scarcity of sticks, because that's the main reason you need sticks. Uh, except for to... Uh, here, you know what? Let's turn our lantern off. Woohoo! Oh my goodness, that's a big crevasse. That's a long way down, man. We don't want to fall on that sucker. Uh, there's our, our scan thing there. Okay. I hope that this isn't planning on... Oh, shit! Wow, <laughs> that was lucky, man. Oh, if we would have been over in this wider spot, I would have been hosed. Absolutely hosed. Okay, anyway, what I was saying is I'm hoping that um, it doesn't send, like, multiple polar bears at us at the same time. That's going to be tough to deal with. We can deal with wolves. We can deal with one polar bear at a time. This is the place. You know what to do. I know what to do. Uh, what do I have to do? Oh, place. Okay. Scan. That's it. No, that's Business not it. Online. You're lying to me, Saul. That is definitely not it. All right. Which direction are they going to come from? Just one polar bear? Okay. We can handle one polar bear easy. Easy peasy. Is it going to stop and I have to turn it on again or what? Isn't he going to tell me to turn it on again? Okay. 
Looks like the unit's ready. All right. You know, I I kind of wish that these missions. Okay, we got some prime, so we're definitely cooking that. Had a little more variety to them. Next steps marked on your map. What in the hell is wrong with my map, man? It is jacked up. Might have to relog for that. Anyway, um, I like these missions, but I wish they had a little more variety to them because they're exactly the same thing every time you do them, you know. Okay, so let's cook up this prime. And we can pick this guy up too. And then our next location is going to be way the hell down there. All right, we are on our way. I cooked up the four pieces of prime, ate one of them. The rest of them should be adequate for the rest of our time on this mission. So I don't think I'll collect uh, any more to, or take the time to cook up any more. Uh, so let's just move on out, man. And watch out for those crevasses. I am so lucky I didn't fall into that damn thing. <laughs> so lucky. Look at our health bar, too. We got, like, almost twice as much health as the normal health bar. Between the fish curry and the other stuff. Looks like we just lost a piece. Jump. Yeah, if you're not watching where your feet are going it's easy to miss those things which I wasn't you know when I almost fell into that one uh, let's take this guy out for XP and we'll skin him for XP level 37 polar He's got four pieces of prime, but like I said, I don't think we need it. I would definitely take it if we were going to stick around longer after our mission, but we're not, so. It is so barren out here. It's just nothing. Looks like there might be a cave over that way. I have a feeling we're going to have to go up on that ridge, because usually... Oh, no, it's down here. Okay, I see it. Usually they're up high, but not in this case. This is the place. Okay, let's do it. You know what to do. There you go. Stations online. We could actually potentially use this crevasse to block. Oh, that's not a crevasse. That's just a never mind. I thought it was, um, it looks like it is from here, but it's just a little ridge. All right, where are they going to come from this time? Oh, man, that's some angry wildlife. I don't see the angry wildlife. Where are they? Two wolves, that's it? Seriously? <laughs> looks like the unit stopped. Get it back online, or you're gonna be here for a while. All right, back Looks online. Like the unit's ready. Yes, let's get our arrows back. Oh, I could have probably picked that one up. I just saw the outline of it, but that's all right. But don't stop now. There's another marker on your map. Yeah, those arrows are damned expensive to make, man. I don't want to lose any of them if I don't have to. Okay, last marker is here. Way over on the other side of the forest. But we'll probably come back through the snowbound because it's going to be... It'll probably take me longer to go around through the forest. I don't know. We'll see, though. The only downside to going back to the snow biome is if we do get a storm, then I'm going to have to stop and wait it out, which will delay me. And speaking of which, don't want to jinx myself, but man, we've been very fortunate so far not to have a ton of storms. You know, I probably could have... I mean, if, if all it's going to do is throw one polar bear at me, 
I could have probably taken that polar bear out with my bolt rifle and then, it, you know, used my shotgun. I didn't know what was going to happen, though. I didn't know if I was going to get rushed with multiple polar bears. That's why I wanted this rifle, because it has a more, you know, faster rate of fire, plus it packs a big, a lot bigger punch. Well, actually, I don't know if it packs a bigger punch, because it doesn't really tell us what the actual damage is, but it just has a real, you know, much faster rate of fire is the thing. Oh, let's refresh our curry and flatbread. I am going to need to drink here pretty soon too, but I'm going to wait a little longer because it's going to—it'll make us a little, a little cold. I don't—I think it only lasts for like 15 seconds though, but still. Well, actually, based upon that, maybe we should do it now while it's not storming, eh? Okay. Yeah, it, it'll be gone in like 12 seconds, so we'll be fine. Probably won't make that much difference anyways. Oh, I forgot to skin that other polar. Darn it. Eighteen hundred XP for skinning them. So wolves and polar bears seem to be the only critters inside the snow biome. So what's this one going to throw at us? Both. <laughs> Level forty-six. Oh wow, this is like taking us damn near all the way back to the forest. Interesting. Level 30. The scanner's up there? Okay. Um, really? Wait a minute. Is that where it is? Yeah, that is where it is. All right. I guess we're going to have to build a ramp to get up there. How else am I supposed to get up there? The good news is I don't think anything's going to be able to attack us up there. Well, let me uh, let me harvest some stuff for making some wood platforms. Because I only have one stone platform. I knew there was a reason why I decided to bring my sickle with me. Wow, it does not want me to be able to walk on there. You okay. To the area. Get searching. I'm working on it, Saul. I'm working on it. Um, can we put that there? Okay. That one we just set down went into the ground. go uh, no okay can we do this and then just yeah do this and then jump over okay that is a weird spot for this to be man okay we don't have to worry about anything attacking us up here I don't think anyways unless polar bears are good rock climbers I think they can get up to our ramps here. Oh, man. 
Oh, man. Where is it? Where is this wildlife that's not going to be able to get to us? Okay, I see... I guess that's a polar bear, right? Oh, that, that looks like a cougar. I didn't know there were cougars in the snowbound. That's it. Systems online. Yeah, I think that's a mountain lion, guys. I had no idea there were mountain lions in the snowbound. Or maybe there isn't. Maybe they just the quest spawns it in. The scan's finished. And the data's come through. Collect the station. I'm done down here. Sure looks like it from here. All right, let's, uh, uh, you know what? Actually, we don't need to grab this stuff. Whoa, careful. Oh, it's a, it's a, a jag. Uh, oh, no, a snow leopard. Really? That's why we like the fast rifle. I didn't even know there were snow leopards in this game. Wow, that's cool. An exotic evasive predator of the ice. Yeah, okay. He doesn't drop prime meat, you'd think he would. Okay, and then let's get the PB. Awesome. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I, I tweaked my graphic settings a little bit more. And for those of you guys who are interested, some of you maybe, most of you probably don't care, but some of you might be. Uh, so basically, we are... Um, I just put a 60 frame lim limit on here because that's what I record at. I don't know if that really matters. Um, I, I put... I put everything on epic and then I tone several things down. So view distance on epic because I just don't like, you know, seeing the LOD change in front of my eyes, you know, 30, 40 yards out. Just bugs the hell out of me. Uh, post processing is on epic. Load, load bias is where it is. The lower this is, the further away detail renders in, but that can affect frames. So I put it on 2.5. Uh, shadows are on epic. Uh, max shadow cascades are down to one. That improved performance for me a little bit. Textures are on high because I got an 8 gig graphics card. Uh, same thing, you need this 45 with an 8 gig. Effects are epic. Foliage is medium. I tried this on, on low, but the ground was just too bare. So medium was a good compromise because that also was affecting frame rate. Uh, shading is low because that just has to do with hair. Anti-aliasing is, is low. Don't ever notice it anyway. And uh, I have all the rest of that's the same as it's been. I have uh, DLSS on performance mode with half sharpness. And then I have ray tracing on, but global illumination off. And that uh, seems to give me really good performance while I'm also at the same time recording. So, all right, well, here's the thing. We could take the long way back and not have to worry about storms delaying us. Or we could go back through the Arctic and hit some more polar bears for XP along the way. And if we get a storm, well, we get a storm. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go back to the Arctic. So I will see you guys back at the drop pod. And let's get the heck out of here. Oh my gosh, that polar bear just spawned in right in front of me. Whew. I mean, literally right in front of my eyes. <laughs> oh, crap. That's frightening. Oh, uh, we do have a storm coming in, too. All right. Let's just keep moving, though, and I'll set up my little shack when it starts getting really bad.
Nice and toasty. Okay, the worst of the storm is past. Let's grab uh, that little bit of wood that we have. Pick up our campfire and our walls and hit the road, Jack. And we're off. Ah, running through the Arctic biome at night. My idea of a good time. And back in the forest. Okay, let's jump in our pod and GTFO. And where is our pod, by the way? Oh, we're just about to it. guys searchlight scan terrain scan glacier is complete uh we do have our pick with us i'm just making sure we got our pick we got our canteen and we should have our thingamadoodle okay let's get the hell out of here all right those are our Achievements that we got. I can't believe I've killed 500 wolves. It's crazy, man. And a hundred bears. Or just about killed a hundred bears, anyway. Cool. Okay, so let's see here. Let's, excuse me, let's go to... Uh, let's go to the shop and see how many points we have. Uh, we have 150, well, we, we got 150 for doing the mission, uh, but we have a total of 300. Okay, so what do we want to do with these points? I'm thinking it's just incredibly useful to start out with this pickaxe when you first land. Uh, and I'm thinking the knife is probably also going to be super worth it. It'd be awesome also to have a bow to start out with. I mean, a good bow, right? Um... And I got some arrows, but to get to that, we're going to have to unlock all of this crap here. Well, not crap. I mean, it's probably good stuff too. What are these things? Well, these are vaccines. Okay, man. The, the modules I, I've been told are pretty good. Now, what is this stuff? Furnace, campfire. Basic smelting needs. Okay. Yeah. I mean, th that stuff is so easy to make. I just can't see spending points on that, really, unless I ever get to a point where I have, you know, I don't, I don't have anything else to do with them. I mean, the axe would be useful, too, of course, but a stone axe does a decent job, I think. Um, I'd much rather have what will become the equivalent of an iron knife starting out. So I think we're going to do that. Okay, and then let's craft it. All right, so that gives still leaves us 200 points. Um, it would be really nice, uh, like I said, too, to start with a bow. So I don't know, is this, this one is probably, my guess is it's probably equivalent to the longbow. It looks like it's a compound bow, though. I'd have to see what the longbow specs are to compare them because I'm not really sure. Uh, but like I said, we're going to have to research through this, this, and this, and this, just to get to that. Um, but this also gets us to this really nice armor, too. So, And it unlocks the modules, which I've been told are really good to have. <clears throat> so, yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we just start moving? I mean, man, I'd like to have these backpacks, though, too. I really would. 
this 50% chance to avoid a sprain, 25% falling resistance, six more inventory slots, and 5% movement speed. That's decent, but these ones are the the really one, really good ones. That one's going to be super good for archery, and this one's this one's just plain super good. I mean, there's just no doubt about it. But we won't be able to get to either one of those till we get exotics. Yeah, I think I want to move towards the the bow. Uh, so we have it starting out. All right, so let's research that. And uh, we could even take this. This just gives us five percent movement speed because we do have a module slot in our suit. How much does it cost? Craft fifty. Hmm, I don't know. We'll think about it. Um, this is gonna. Oh, we don't have enough to research that. That's two fifty. That's two fifty, and that's two hundred. This has two module slots. Both of those do. What's this one have? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's. Um, I mean. We could unlock this too, just so we could get to this backpack. I think I'm gonna do that. All right, and then we will be we should be able to get this uh, after the next mission. Well, it depends on which mission we take. Uh, which reminds me, I think what we're gonna do is so we got that in the loadout. I think what we're gonna do is before we do. Um, the dry run mission, which is actually kind of fun. I, I enjoyed doing that on the multiplayer. Uh, before we do that, let's knock out this strange harvest because I, I, I should be able to do this in one episode. It actually doesn't take long at all to do. Um, and, you know, we only get so, 50 credits, but I mean, if we can knock it out in one episode, let's do it. One of their bot satellites detected unusual bio patterning. And their Xeno research arms got curious. They want samples. This one ain't gonna be easy, though. Some wild territory they're sending you to. It's up to you. Okay, let's do this one, guys. Um, because, like I said, I should be able to knock this out in one episode. We got our loadout. Confirm loadout. Um, set this to private and knock it out. But, hey, that is it for this episode. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so we will start up the very next episode uh, doing this bio thing. Like I said, should be able to knock it out in one episode. Uh, they'll get us 50 more points, and then we're going to do uh, the next. The plan is to do the, the dry run opening up the canyons, and we're going to spend a little more time on that one and have some fun with it because it's a really fun mission. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video, and we'll see you down on the planet for the strange bio plant mission. Bye-bye. There we go.